Good Saturday morning. We are at the pinnacle moment in the life of Jesus, the crucifixion. On either side of Jesus' cross are thieves who each ask Jesus something specific, questions that have a lot to teach us. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him saying, are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him saying, do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? We indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. There are only two types of people that speak to God. There are the people who, like the first thief, they want God to make their problems go away, make their pains go away, or make their life better, but they don't want anything else. Then there are guys like the other man on the cross who said, I deserve what I'm getting, I know what I deserve, but I want more than just my pain to go away. I want paradise. And Jesus, only you can grant paradise. Many people come to God and they're, they're just looking for a way out of their problems. They don't really want God for who he is and for what he can do in them. They want God for what he can do for them. What you see on the cross is genuine faith and false faith. You see a guy who's just wanting God to make his problems go away. And then you see the other guy who makes perhaps one of the most profound statements in the Bible. At the hour of his death, he says, remember me. He knew he deserved what he was getting. He knew his sin separated from God. And he knew he deserved to die because of his sin. But he believes that Jesus is able to save him, that Jesus is God, and that he has the ability to grant forgiveness even while he's being crucified on a cross. This man believes that Jesus holds the keys to who gets into eternal life when he says, Jesus, will you remember me a sinner when you enter into your kingdom and receive your reward in heaven? Jesus grants him life right there on the spot, not because the man deserves it, but because of his faith. Today, you're going to be with me in paradise. Jesus said so much from his cross. I guess the question for you and I is, are we listening? Who calls the shots in your life? Who makes the decision? Who decides where you go, what you do, and what you say? Christian, all of us on occasion can be selfish and self-centered and take control of our lives. We decide, I'm going to call the shots because I don't like the way my life is going. If you know Jesus personally, do you really believe that a God who loves you enough to send his son Jesus to die for you can be trusted with the affairs of your life. Even if he asks you something difficult or if he sends you someplace dangerous, do you believe that he is good enough as a God, as the one and only true God, that he deserves to call the shots in your life? The cross of Jesus also speaks to those who for the first time in your life you realize, I'm not a Christian. You might have been listening to my devotions for months or even years, but never really surrendered your life to Christ. The cross of Jesus says to you, if it were possible for you to be good enough, religious enough, try hard enough to get to heaven, there's no reason for that man to die. Since you and I can't be good enough or pray hard enough to get to heaven, God sent his son to earth. God sentenced his son to death, and then three days later, he raised from the tomb. The man who once was dead is now alive, and with him will be all those who genuinely express their faith in him. Accept Christ today. Loving Father, thank you that your love was so great that you sent Jesus to be my Savior and that his loving forgiveness includes me. Lord, I pray that forgiveness may be a quality that you develop in me so that I too can show forth the love of Christ to his praise and to his glory. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.